Hey everybody, how you doing out there? This one goes out to everybody who's a, who's a YouTuber out there, uh, use YouTube a lot, and do vlog videos for a lot. Um, this one goes out to all the subscribers, doesn't matter what the users' names are. Um, if, you're, uh, if you're a cop watcher or you're a first member auditor, um, it doesn't matter what, what you are in life. Uh, all that matters is if you have a YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube channel, that's great. That's wonderful. You're off to the races, as they like to say. Um, if you got a YouTube channel, that's great. That's great. A little guy's got a YouTube channel. Uh, that's wonderful. You can laugh about that if you want. <laughs> he really does have a YouTube channel. Right. Um, and uh, he's trying to get the subscriber base. He's trying to get the subscriber base and the viewership. Uh, that's all he needs. He needs the subscriber base, the subs. They call it subs. Subs as in the subscriber base. Uh, he needs the viewership. He needs the viewership. He needs uh, almost a thousand views on his on his uh, content. And uh, he needs a thousand views on his live stream. That's right, his live stream. And he's he's a good uh, going guy. He's a really good going guy when he does YouTube channels, and I really appreciate his YouTube channel, I really do. As a, as a YouTuber, I, I'm, I'm proud of what he does on his YouTube channel. I just, uh, I want to put that out there for anybody, I'm just doing a podcast, a very short podcast here. Uh, so, I want to uh, give praise to everybody who is a YouTuber, it doesn't matter who they are in life. I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, child, uh, you know, and, you, and you have a YouTube channel, it's a... Uh, Whatever you put on your YouTube channel is fine by a lot of people. Uh, it's it's the content. YouTube is uh, content driven, as I would say, content driven. And uh, and I'm not going to mention any names here because if I go uh, do names, then it's going to be a long list. It's going to be a long list of of people's names out there, and I don't want to do that because I might miss out their names on YouTube videos, uh, the users' names on their YouTube channels. And, uh, so what I'll try and do is, um, I'll give you recommendations, how about that guys, I'll give you recommendations of what YouTubers I've been seeing as the last few, actually five years or so, um, last five years or so, and uh, YouTubers are just doing live streams these days, they seem to do a lot of live stream videos, and they don't, they don't do pre-recorded videos and then have them uh, published on their YouTube t channel. And um, they seem to do a lot of YouTube videos with live streaming videos on there. Um, I'm not going to mention these people's names because I might forget their names and how to pronounce it and stuff. Uh, so they know who they are. I always say to these people out there, they know who they are, who I watch it on YouTube on their YouTube channels. And good for bad, good or for bad, I'm going to watch them. Yeah. If they're a bad person, I don't care. If they're a good person, I'm still going to watch them. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person. I'm still going to watch your content out there. And, you know, it, it, I, as they say, I swing for the fences. I swing for the fences. I hate that putting all of you out there. But like I said, it doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person. We're not all bad people out there. Uh, we're not born bad, you know, in terms of evil and stuff. Uh, we're not evil people. We're not like uh, the, the devil in the, in the hell world. Uh, we're not that kind of evil. Uh, uh, evil would be uh, when you pass away, you either go to hell or heaven, up in God, in Jesus' uh, name. You know, as they like to say, in Jesus' name. And just so, yeah. So, like I said, hell is where where the demon is. He's far down on earth, and uh, people are mis uh, always uh, seem to think that we all go to hell. We go where the demon is. Uh, in hell, that's where, if you're, I'll give you a better example where hell would, uh, I'll describe what hell is like. It's like going, walking over a uh, hot lava. It's like walking over hot lava. That's hell. That's kind of like what the hell world is like. Yeah. With hot lava. And you're, you're burning up, basically. You're burning up. That's where hell is. Yeah. And that's not a pretty sight. That's not a pretty sight, folks. Uh, they've been sadly mistaken, as people like to say. They're sadly mistaken. When they're going to hell, they've been lied to. Remember the people that say they've been lied to? Well, they've been lied to. Uh, hell is where hell is. is. Uh, in the real world, in the political world, uh, there's hell. Um, I don't, the Bible does not mention hell, but uh, we do have good or bad, uh, worst and to the worst. 
what I was trying to say is, folks, you could be in hell, like in the great depths of hell, and be there for eternity, is like people like to say. And, or you could go to heaven where Jesus is, where the pearly gates is. And God will be there. God will be there. He, uh, he, uh, if you pray for him a lot, uh, he's your savior, as people would say. He's your savior. You know, if you're if you're a, a Christian, you know about this. Uh, if you're a Christian person, I, uh, I'm not going to mention names. If you're a Christian person, you know about what the Bible uh, thinks of uh, the, the heavens uh, for Jesus. Uh, I myself never been to a church for a lot of reasons. Um, uh, now people say what is atheist. Atheist is the basically the opposite of not liking Jesus. Not liking Jesus. Atheist. Uh, there was a guy on George Nori Coast to Coast AM who describes what atheist. If you're an atheist person, um, no, uh, it describes as many things. Atheist is, describes many things. It's what the total opposite of what you believe in God. Okay, is the total opposite. Uh, if you're an atheist, and uh, I just heard uh, about this while back, some guy did a, a a live stream about atheists, the word atheist, and uh, that's the total opposite where you believe in uh, the uh, the world. And uh, I never I never heard what it, how it's explained about atheist people. But George Norrie of Coast to Coast AM had a guy on the radio station. He explained what atheist means. Uh, in a great detail, like uh, he went great depth about it. Uh, and uh, yeah, so just remember folks, um, I'm just gonna chatter for a bit and uh, I appreciate you guys listening to me on my YouTube channel. I'm still gonna do YouTube videos out there for eternity. That's right, to eternity. The word I would use is eternity. Uh, and uh, I gotta do what I gotta do to make uh, to make, men, uh, make ends meet. You know, I gotta do, I gotta put out the content so people can appreciate. Uh, it's only audio only. Remember, it's audio only. It's no visuals. Uh, no, uh, no visuals. So that means, uh, what I mean about visuals, I mean, no video, no film, you know, like still photos, uh, no motion video. There's no motion video. It's like, it's like a big movie. It's like a big movie thing. Yeah. Uh, usually with movies, it's motion pictures. It's like people are in motion. Yeah, they're not uh, stationary. Yeah, it's everything is in there. It's forward. Everything is going forward, not backwards in the world. Yeah, and not everybody wants to go backwards in the world. Uh, we all go forward in our lives. We don't go backwards. You know, we say to ourselves, "Hey, we're going forward. We're going into the future, out to the future." Yeah, and God will always be there for you. He's not going to sink and leave you. Just remember that, okay? Yeah. Just remember, if you need t times and needs and you want Jesus, as they like to say, the church, you can, you can pray to Jesus. You can really do that, such a thing. My friend, uh, my friend who passed away recently, he was, uh, he was uh, not a preacher, if you were asking me. Uh, he's, uh, he goes up to the podium and then, uh, you know, says a little speech about uh, victory. You got a victory in you. Victory, the victory speech, you know? The victory speech. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> he's pretty good. He was a great friend to have, uh, no question about it. But he he uh, he turned his life around and g gave his life to Jesus. You know, the Bible would say, um, yeah, he gave his life up to Jesus. And uh, everybody has their preference. You know, everybody has their preference. And he just went into um, I forget how uh, how people would say it uh, into congregations. Um, and uh, he, he would be one of these people that would uh, tell you about the Bible, you know, these congregation things. Uh, and uh, he just changed his life over to Jesus. Uh, I don't know how you do this sort of thing. Uh, give your life to Jesus, as they would like to say. And uh, he's, I never understand that. I really never understand that, folks. And, uh, you know, not a lot of people don't give their life up to Jesus. It's, really, it's like a sacrifice to your life. Yeah, you just... Uh, you know, it's like uh, it's like epiphany. If you had epiphany in life, you know, I want to give my life to Jesus, and I would say to you, that's great, that's wonderful. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, give your life to Jesus. You know the Bible inside out. Yeah, <laughs> it's like news. It's like watching the news on CNN. You know, you know, once uh, he can give you scriptures. My friend can give you scriptures in a good way, not a bad way, in a good way. <laughs> 
<laughs> he'll tell you some scriptures. He'll get a, a thought going, and then he'll give you a scripture that uh, you, what you just said, kind of thing. Yeah, he'll give you a scripture, and he'll talk about it. He'll give you a discussion going on. Yeah, yeah. If you believe in Jesus, uh, he'll help you out in life. You will. You you will uh, leave you or take you in life. No matter if you're a man or a woman in this life, if you have a gender in life. Yeah. We're all born in the same cloth. It's like to say. I can't believe I said that, right? We're all born in the same cloth. We just, uh, sometimes we have our own means, is the old saying. We have our own means in life. And we're just traveling to one place to another. One place to another, if you can think about that. We're getting to A to B. To, uh, to get, uh, not, even, not faster, but we'll get there, kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> it just takes a little time. It takes a little time for anybody to realize that. You know, in life, I'm talking about Jesus. And uh, like I said, hell is where hell is. Hell is, describe what people think what hell is to them. Uh, it's where the devil is. And it's like, uh, and they've been lied to. A lot of people, people have been lied to. Hell is what they they really need. You know, it's where the demon is. He's going to he's gonna push you in the hot lava and uh, die. Really make you die. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's the crazy well, part. Yeah, that's the crazy part. Uh, but yeah, people are uh, saved by Jesus. They were, uh, they're blessed. They give a second life, you know, yeah. the second life chance. Yeah, and they have a story. Sometimes they'll have stories about it. Their own, uh, their own testimony, their own story about uh, they came back the second time. Jesus uh, pulled them out to he uh, the hell and uh, came back. So they get a second life. Basically, they get a second life. So anyway, I'm going to end this uh, podcast if you guys don't mind. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, ciao for now, everybody. This is a good conversation, good discussion, good conversation. I appreciate it immensely, as I like to say. Uh, and, uh, yeah, on to the next person. On to the next person. And probably we'll all uh, have uh, good stories to tell. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to explain myself in a good...